we now we are going to discuss packages in java so what are packages in java it is a very very important facility as far as java language is concerned for example suppose that you have chosen a name example for your java program which is example.java and when you are converting that to java bytecode that will be example.class and some other programmer who is um, residing in uh, some other part of the world he may also be using example for a particular program some other program and he is also using example.java and when he is converting his program the the name of that uh, java bytecode or class file will be uh, example.class that means uh, these are portable these um, class files are portable when you are uh, exporting this to some other location some guy who is located somewhere else uh, he may be accessing and when he when he is examining his program he is having two class files with the same name that means you have sent or i have sent my pa my uh, java byte for a class file and he may also send uh, his that means um, person or programmers who are located in different parts of the world they may be using the same uh, program name or class name for their bytecodes java bytecodes and there are collisions that means uh, they are uh, there is a yeah, now uh, that means collision and uh, there is a facility and for that uh, java provides a mechanism for creating packages for example suppose that you are creating a group of program or a group of class files or group of uh, uh, java bytecodes class files then you can uh, create that as a package and you have to send that package to them that means and some other person who is residing somewhere else he is also creating his own package and he is also sending that that package name should not collide that's the only thing and in that package inside that package both of them can have the same uh, same uh, class names okay so that is a mechanism for solving uh, the collision of names okay now how this can be done so these are the important uh, features of packages packages enable grouping of functionally related classes for example suppose that uh, you have say you have a package called map in java uh, a very very important um, package is map that means all the math functionalities for example sign cos tan then all the that means arc and etc some all the mathematical functions are implemented under java dot map and you suppose that you have some language constructs that will be grouped under java dot lang the, 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 those are all done by the java programmers and that means they are built in that means you have to import those packages for using that if you if you want to create a package of your own can you can you can you can do that so here package names are dot separated see java dot lang dot string this is java dot lang dot string that means those are separated by dot that means this is in java uh, directory you have another sub subdirectory which is lang and then in that from that string class you have to uh, this is referring offering a string class which is residing in java slash lang that means in java directory you have another subdirectory lang and from that you have to take that string java dot util dot array means in java directory you have another subdirectory util from that you have to use or whatever you have to do with arrays arrays class java dot io dot buffer dot in java you have another subclass yeah, uh, io and from that forward and like that so package names are dot separated package names have a correspondence directory structure packages avoid namespace collision there cannot be two classes of the same name in same package that means in java.io you cannot have two buffered readers 
that means two uh, classes with the same name not allowed okay exact name of the classes identified by the package name okay now how to create a package packets are mirrored through directory structure so i already told you and they are mirrored that means if java dot lang is there then there should be a java directory and la a lang subdirectory should be there to create a package first we have to create a directory or directory structure that matches the package hierarchy package structure should match the directory structure also to make a class belong to a particular package include the package statement as the first statement of the source file see this is an example here i'm going to create initially a my package so you should have in the in the in the java uh, home directory you should have a my package a yes, directory you have to create called my package and go to that my package directory and create two sub directories my package a and my package b okay and in my package a you have three class files s1 s2 and s3 in my package b you have three uh, three uh, class files which are s4 s5 and s6 now create so two more sub directories in my package a which are abc and deg in my package b you have to create two more sub directories ijk and xyz now store a, the class files a b and c in abc d e and f in deg a b c ijk that means six class files in ijk and x y and z are those class files in x y z now see the abc the uh, the class names with a b and c are there in abc and ijk that means if you want to access abc which 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 is in abc directory you have to use my package dot my package a dot abc dot a if you want a which belongs to ijk then you have to use my package dot my my package b dot ijk dot a okay now how to make a class belong to a package include a proper package statement as the first lens uh, in um, source file for example here package see here before that public class package my package dot my package dot a means here this program or when you are converting this program then s1 dot class will be generated public class s1 then after compiling this s1 dot class where should that s down s1 dot class reside it should be placed in my package slash my package a that means the place where we have to store this s1 dot class is my package that means my, my package is a directory in that another sub directory my package a and in that sub directory you have to store this s1 dot class okay make uh, that's all now make class s2 belong to my package a suppose that if you want to store this s2 s2 file in my package a you need only a you have a package statement package my package dot my package a that means this should reside in which the directory in my package you have another sub directory my package a and in that you have to store this s2 dot class make class a belongs to ijk so you have to store this uh, class a in ijk for that ijk is the fully qualified directory structure is my package a slash my package b slash ijk so here you have to use instead of the slashes you have to use dots package dot package my package dot my package b dot ijk that means when you are compiling this program uh, the, the a dot class 
file say send to oh, my package slash my package b slash ijk okay so now once you have a class if you want to use that so you have to import that package suppose that you have a program and you have converted that to a class file and some other guy, guy who is who, who wants to use that package he has to import the package and for importing that package you have to use the fully qualified names import statements allows the importing of package library packages are automatically imported irrespective of the location of combining and executing program library package jre looks at two places for created package for example suppose that you are residing in the home directory then uh, if you give a fully classified uh, name for importing packages it looks for that package in the current directory that means you, you are you are residing in a directory and your current directory is chosen as a base directory with respect to that you are you are, are trying to import that package and if it is not there then it is examining the class path environment variable that means an environment variable called a class path is there and class path using class path you can set some other um, some other directory and that can also be uh, based on that uh, that as the root that means class path environment variable is there and in that some uh, directories chosen as the class path and uh, uh, then if uh, the file we are looking for is not present in the working directory then the class path uh, directory is chosen as the base and after that it, is, it will look for that most ideal location for creating or compiling or executing a program is immediately above the package structure okay for example importing import my package my package a dot abc dot star means here import my package in the my package subdirectory another subdirectory my package a and in that another subdirectory abc from that star means all the base classes you have to import all the classes which are residing in this abc directory have to be imported that means there are okay now import my package dot my package a dot abc dot star import my package my package b dot ijk dot star that means in from my package a my package my package a abc dot star means in that you have three a three uh, classes a b and c my package my package b i j k a b c d f that means you have six classes there so the classes a b and c are you have imported from both a b c and i j k you have downloaded or imported packages a for classes a b c from a b and c from both a b c and i j k so there is a collision so there is a collision so so now if you are going to have going to create or create an instance of class a then which a you are looking for which a that means you have imported two a's one belongs to a b c and the other belongs to i j k so which one we have to or take that means here as there is a collision between which to choose a tie between uh, abc and ijk for which a to choose does it belong to abc or ijk so in that case you have to use fully qualified names so instead of using a a1 is equal to new that means if a is unique no problem but now there are two classes a do two classes with the same name one imported from abc and the other imported from ijk so there's a tie and in that case you have to use fully qualified names like my package dot my package a dot abc dot a okay so that's two uh, class a is present both import packages abc and ijk so a has to be 
fully qualified in this case okay now class path environment variable as i told you class path environment variable lets you define path for the location of the root of the package hierarchy that means always the java runtime uh, looks for a particular file in the current directory and if it is not present then it is uh, verifying or it is checking the uh, the directory which is pointed to by the class path environment variable and in that i have defined an account balance class and this should be saved that means here see this is the home directory that means if you the present working directory is home slash root so here i have created a directory called my pack my pack directory i have already created this is my pack and again you are typing this this is my pack so as this is a package called my pack all files or all, all files which are residing in the, that should be resided in this package should be in that directory my pack so if you want to save this you should save this in that directory and i have already saved this in that directory and another program also is there is balance.java that also i have already uh, given or saved in that directory so if you want to oh, so you should always be in the home directory that means home slash shibu and if you want to oh, compile that what you can do is my pack slash balance dot java okay so when you do that my pack balance dot java is already done that means that balance dot balance dot class is there in the my pack directory and if you want to compile my pack slash account balance dot java the, there also is have to use this okay now we are going to check whether the java by codes are there so for that that means account balance dot class account balance dot java balance dot class and balance dot java okay that's done now you have to return to this program and see here package my pack means if you have a package called my pack then all uh, programs what uh, you have written should be saved in that directory okay now if we want to execute the program here we have to type java my pack dot account balance okay so that will be 